everyone, it's Michelle from Bella Branch DIY and welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's having an awesome day. Today we have a super cute, super easy DIY. We are going to be watercoloring a baseball cap. And a pair of white sneakers. You guys ready? Let's go. Let's start today's DIY with some fabric paint. First you're going to take your fabric paint and you're going to put it on a palette. And I use palette paper which is actually like a wax paper. Next, take a foam brush and dip it in some water and then you're going to saturate a white baseball cap. And you could use a spray bottle if you have that, but a foam brush works great. Now take a paint brush, dip it in the water, make sure it's really wet, and then add your first color. And then just continue to layer your colors. The thing you want to remember is to keep adding water on your hat before you add your paint. And you'll notice when you put two colors next to each other, they'll start to bleed into each other. For example, yellow and blue make green, blue and red make purple. Just have fun with it. So keep adding more water and saturating the areas and then keep adding different colors. Look how pretty that blue is. And when it dries, it's gonna dry a little lighter in some areas. So just keep that in mind. You can always just layer more. And you'll notice that I painted in all different directions and I had no pattern. And when you're all done painting your watercolor hat, you're gonna wanna heat set it. So be sure to look at the instructions or the directions on your particular paint to see what you have to do. The kind I use, you only need to put it in the sun to heat set it. This turned out so cute and it's kind of like a tie-dye effect with a paintbrush. Project number two is watercolor sneakers. Grab your white tennis shoes and saturate it with water just like you did with the baseball cap. A spray bottle works great if you need to use a spray bottle. And then just start layering the colors the same way you did on your baseball cap. The cool thing about these paints is that they're super pliable so they become part of the fabric. You wouldn't even know that they're on there. And then when you're done painting your shoes, just heat set them and you are ready to go. I hope you guys love today's DIY. I think it turned out so cute. You can totally see this on a pair of white jeans or a white jean jacket. Or a t-shirt. And I hope you guys try this. And until next time, thanks for watching.